Hey, what's up? I'm A Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So, Earl Sweatshirt cuts a reclusive figure these days after shooting to fame as part of Odd Future's rabble rousing rise a decade ago. But that doesn't mean he isn't above clapping back at critics. The Left Coast lyricist took to Twitter on Tuesday night, January 25th, to subliminally respond to Joe Budden's scathing comments about his new album, Sick, which he refused to even listen to. It's weird that bro didn't like my mood music, lol, what happened twin? Which he was referencing Budden's mood music mixtape series. Before that, Earl, who traveled to New York City to perform on The Tonight Show on Monday night, January 24th, wrote, Ain't gonna lie, I've been in transit for what feels like 27 hours. I'm trying real hard not to say a bunch of dumb ish on here. God guide me off of here. Joe Budden's harsh critique of Earl's sweatshirt sick came during an episode of the Joe Budden podcast earlier this month. Although Sweatshirt's name was bleeped out, Budden made it clear who he was talking about by referencing Earl's impersonation of him on Odd Future's adult swim show, Loiter Squad, in 2014. I said, hell no, I ain't hear that <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I'm never going to hear him. You hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am never going to hear never. that. It's mixed. I, I don't I like care. women. That, yeah, that shit could be thriller. <laughs> <laughs> when would I put that on? Button also mentioned the lack of Earl's sweatshirt and Tyler the Creator collaborations as a contributing factor behind his apathy toward the chum rapper's music. That's my nigga too, man, but I ain't listening to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is on Tyler's last album? Uh, uh, no. I don't remember. I don't think so. No, he's not. Is on Tyler's album before that album? No. How about the one before that one? <laughs> See, we're not. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> All right, yo, forget it. <laughs> yo, when your man stop inviting you to the studio, you're not getting me to listen to what you're doing. <laughs> Sorry, that's like a rule of thumb for me. <laughs> Despite Joe Budden's criticism, Sick has been met with positive reviews since it released on January 14th. Hip Hop DX gave the album a 4.0 out of 5 score, praising it as a victory lap that allows one of rap's most prominent enigmas to come out of the shadows. But if you've listened to Earl Sweatshirt's new album already, what do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.